Hello there and welcome to the channel. Uh, in today's video, um, we'll be doing a weekly test of the fire alarm system. Uh, although this time we'll be doing the test of all three zones, uh, uh, all of the devices. So we'll be testing zone one, which is the multi-sensor. Um, zone two, which is that uh, uh, optical smoke detector up there and finally zone 3 which is the manual call point so yeah so to start off the test what I'm actually going to do is uh, switch off the main supply to the fire alarm panel so we'll just wait for that to come up there we go so we can now do the test so um, actually let's change it up a bit so first we'll test zone 3 which is our manual call point so to test this uh, this particular call point the uh, CQR FP2 hasn't got an option to test it via the key um, so you actually have to activate it it's a resettable element you have to activate it and then reset it uh, but yep so we'll test that first so um, just a word of warning, the sounder is quite loud, so um, I would adjust your volume. So yep, let's test this. It's quite tough to press. Activate it there. Let's get our key. Silence the sounders. You can see there that is zone three call point. So we'll leave it in alarm and then we can next test our next detector. Um, what I'm actually going to do is disable the sounders so it's not annoying. So let's disable those. There we go. So the sounders are now uh, switched off. So you'll only see the uh, fire alarm panel uh, activate so so only here the fire alarm panel activate <laughs> so I have I still haven't got the correct test smoke to test uh, these detectors it's not ideal using deodorant um, but it is suitable for these optical detectors to trigger them so, yep, so I'm just going to spray a tiny amount in so I don't contaminate it as you see there, that should be zone two. Wait for that to activate. Should do any minute now. Might have to add a bit more in actually. So, spray a bit more in there. Should activate. There we are. As you can see there, zone two. So you can silence internal sounders. Now, um, notice it is it is still flashing so that is the uh, alarm sound is still going off so obviously they're isolated but you can press that and it should stop flashing oh put it in accessed mode there we are as you can see there i'm continuous so that shows that you've silenced the sounders so yep yeah. so that's that uh, zone tested now so now let's move on to um, zone one, which is the multi-sensor. Now, unfortunately, links, um, for some particular reason, uh, will not activate that sensor. Uh, it's obviously got another uh, form of technology in it. I mean, it is an optical as far as I'm aware, but um, I've tried a variety of other aerosols and it does not activate, which is is uh, an advantage I suppose because you get less false alarms from aerosols but yeah so to test that what I'm actually going to have to do is use a hairdryer and that will test the heat element in the um, multi sensor so yep yeah, here we are um, I've now, uh, now got the hairdryer ready so we're now going to test the multi sensor uh, the sounders are still disabled, so you, you'll only hear the uh, 
you'll only hear the fire panel. Uh, so yep, let's get on with the test now. So. Here we are, so the sensor's now activated, as you can see. I'm now going to silence the fire alarm panel. There we are, as you can see, fire zone one, which corresponds to silence internal sounder. Do that. And there we are, that concludes the test. We've tested all three zones. Uh, without the main supply, so purely uh, on the backup supply of the panel, so we so we know that's uh, in working order. So what I'm going to do now is uh, re-enable the sounders. Actually, so we can do that now. Do that. There we are. So the sounders are now re-enabled. Um, so yeah, that concludes that. Um, can't reset the panel now because there's a chance that the sensors will reactivate again which put it into fire conditions so um, I'm just going to leave that like that for now um, we can push the spare back in to the main supply you should see that fault clear any minute now it should go there we are, so the fault's now cleared we've just got a green supply present light no fault so yeah, um, that concludes that. Um, I'm going to wait a few minutes for that to clear and then we can reset the panel. There we are, so it's now been a few minutes and I've, I've let the sensors, uh, let sensors clear out a bit. So we should now be able to reset the panel and should go back to normal. And there we have it. So that concludes the test. Uh, we've tested all uh, sensors on the system and the call point. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, so it's only a sort of short video really, but I haven't done a full test in a while, so I thought it'd be good to do that. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.